Hello and welcome back for part 6 of the Queek Lord and Hero campaign. So we took out the first stack of dwarves just after they recolonized Lost Plateau. And I think we're ready for the slightly harder task of taking on this full health but not full stack army down in the south. Let's have a quick check of Winds of Magic. Blowing. Okay, well at least it's not calm or whatever, so that should be fine. Make the attack with this lord. Yep. Good chance for an ambush. I don't think they'd withdraw anyway, but ambush is always good. Let the bell scream, scream. So let's stick you down here. Yeah, move tails. Take a tiny bit of attrition, but it's not going to be a problem. Machines and sorcery! Oh, we can actually... Yeah, I can get this assassin into the army as well. Yeah, no, no reason not, not to do that. My plan. So, how best to do that? I guess I just move like this. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely want the assassin in the Warlock Master's army because that gets all the benefits from discipline and stuff. I, got mm, I say all, I think I just have the one disciplined guy currently, but still. Okay, we can still launch this attack. Yes, yes. Looks good. Yeah, there's a level up on those Packmasters, but I'm saving the point, so let's go. Alright. So, good odds again. I don't want to auto-resolve this, because... I guess it could do a lot of damage to one of my heroes, like the Assassin or whatever. And plus, it's... yeah. <laughs> it's, it's early days to be starting to auto-resolve. So the question is, do I want to go for Menace Below? Yeah, so we're at the base Magic Power Reserve, which is enough for eight or so casts of Plague, which should be enough. I guess the question is whether I'm going to need to use some of the Winds of Magic on Vermintide as well. I've got four... Yeah, I've got in total four Wolfrat units. I don't think so. I think we should be fine just like this. Yeah, let's try not using Menace Below, see how it goes. Decent roll. Yeah, so the dwarves are marching this way in this valley, which I guess means we can just deploy down over here. Looks good. Right, and the Wallet Master actually has Scorch now, but that's a poor use of Seven Winds of Magic compared to Plague. It's not very good against armor, for one thing. Alright, so there's our three Bone Breakers. And we have Tormentor Sword. Yep, yeah, need to remember to use that. Potion of Speed. Potion of Healing on you. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, so the Grace here hasn't arrived yet, but that's just because we're technically... We haven't kind of sprung the ambush yet until they see us. Over here, here. Which is now, I think? Yeah, good, okay. Got the Grace here on here. Quick, fast. I think they'll just take up a defensive position. I'm actually a bit surprised that the balance of power is so far in our favour. Uh, the game does that with ambushes, like it, it, the ambush really adds a lot to the um, the odds, which is funny because, as far as I know, it doesn't actually make the enemy fight worse, and I'm not really taking any sort of tactical advantage from the ambush, but whatever. 
I've definitely had experience in Skaven campaigns in the past where once you get a strong army, um, if you're ambushing consistently, you just auto resolve everything. Kind of, or you know, you have that option at least. Alright, well, this is good. They've got their infantry super clumped up. Oh, yeah, this is. This is a juicy, juicy plague target for sure. So, just gonna do the same as in the other battle, like, not in a rush here to engage them. I'm fine with the Grace here getting shot a little, because he has the scar. So, where is this plague gonna land? Boy, just absolutely spoiled for choice. Let's go right here. Oh, unless. Hold on. No, no, no. Good. Now kill. Be reposition. Scamper forward. Fight bad things. All right. A plague on multiple missile units is absolutely fine. Let's get that down. Yep, take your little damage, but it's on units that are, have good, pretty good armor. Yeah, that's a great cast. And they moved out of it, a little annoying. Oh well. If they're gonna just have their crossbowmen come towards me, I can always... Like, if they get too split up, I can always go fight them in melee. Just wait for Plague to recharge. Keep backing off. Now, the edge of the map's here. Fair enough. I guess we can go up this way. Yeah, plenty of magic for what we need here, I think. Just need to make sure I don't have any Plague spells at whiff, where I, like, just cast it and they walk out the area. So let's see, I'm actually fine with my Grace here getting shot because he's healthy and has the healing potion. So let's see if I can get their missile units to stand still and shoot him. Right, they're standing still, but I really want them to clump up on top of each other. Where's their third missile unit? Can't see it. Hmm. Alright, plague down here will be good. Just got their dwarf infantry moving in behind. There we go. Did take a bit of damage for that, but yeah, it's doing solid amount of damage. Thirty-nine. Okay, so you can take a bit more damage before healing. So I've got rid of half of one of the Wolf Warrior units and a decent amount of the Quarrelers. Not sure where these ones are going. Yeah, didn't leave anyone over there or something. Alright, let's go again. Guy in the Doom Flare. Bait their missile units into shooting him. Should be good. He's got plenty of armor. Alright, and Plague now goes here. Oh, get in, get in, get in. Yep. Should be very nice. I mean, for seven wins of... Oh, it's eight wins of magic. Okay. Well, for eight wins of magic, yeah, I mean, can't do much better than this. I should get four more casts, I think. Just need to be a little patient on the recharge. Okay, you are taking some damage. Let's 
So what's the plan next? I've got lots of their infantry at the front, so maybe I... Yeah, maybe I summon the first wolf rat unit and get the plague dropped on top of them. I'm thinking... Yeah, I really want to be hitting multiple infantry units with the plague. That's like... Really big priority. Yeah, okay. We, we can make this work. They can actually just charge into the Quarrelers, that's ideal. Then hopefully get a big clump of enemy on top of them. So let's throw down the command of command so they don't break. And pretty good plague. Yeah, definitely did a lot of damage to our own units, but that's fine. have my assassin sneak round to try and take out this unit of quarrelers. Shouldn't take too much to deal with them in melee. 287 kills. Alright, not bad. Three more casts, probably. units over on this flank. Probably good targets for the next plague. If that could be arranged. Okay, this guy's hidden now, so he can sneak around. They've got that general back here. Yeah, he's just a rune lord. We won't really worry about him until the infantry is taken care of. Yeah, let's try to get next plague land up on this big group. Just use my normal rats, not the poison ones. Okay, here we go. This would be good. Oh, we're gonna have problems with that unit just routing there. Ouch. Ah, oh, crap. Alright. Engage them in melee. See if I can hold them in the plague area a tiny bit. Mm, didn't do a great job with that there. sure this is a great situation for us. I do have... Dead. do have more play coming, but not for a little while. Yep. Put the ceiling down. No, that assassin's not going to get anything done against those Coralers. Uh, okay, here we go. The units break and flee off the battlefield, I'm fine with that, I think. Victory's on our grass, okay. Yeah, that cast was uh, really nice. Just hold them in place with the Tormentor Sword as well, so they get wiped out. Okay, yeah, that cast, I think, basically won us the battle. These units were very low health and breaking. Gonna have to come fight at that general in melee. Don't see any difficulty there. Also, summon more wolf rats. Okay, yeah, we got them. Nice. So, let's have these units try to wipe out the quarrelers. Yeah, we didn't end, end up needing all the plagues. I think because the their units are relatively low tier, like the Miners and Dwarf Warriors. They couldn't do damage fast enough to us. 
And then that last plague got like 350 kills or whatever, so... Right, trying to kill the general. No, he's just getting away. That's fine. I don't think we can follow up and pursue them, but... Uh, shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, if we could kill some more quarrelers, that'd be good. They were a little annoying. Yeah, that unit's gone. Spire power! Oh, that unit's finished too. Alright. Okay, nice amount of food. Black hunger be gone. So let's see. We've got 115 max, so that's 25 more food. We're going to get six or so for sacking the green skins again. Uh kinda just work out in my head whether I should take the Food and money here. Me. I think I'll take the money. Warlock, master of Scryer. Okay, so he retreated out of our range. No problem. Yeah, I guess we're taking attrition here, but. I win. All hail, Hornet Rat. Yeah, it's this assassin who's actually... Yeah, it's the assassin who's actually limiting our movement. So what do I want to do here? Do you take me for a wazak? Well, that army can march pretty far. Right, if I took this guy out of the army, I think I might be able to... Maybe I could go into ambush stance? I don't particularly need the replenishment boost. Uh, not quite. Shoot. Okay. In that case. Yeah, I'm just seeing what the dwarves could do. They could force march with this army. Make the attack here. Warlock master. It's probably fine though. Stop that. Right? Yeah, Don't I think that's fine. Today. Many, many kills today. Oh yeah, I got the rank up on the Packmaster, so that means even more rat fodder. Good, good. My plan scheme's always best. Just just to I think for a second about how much the dwarves will have. They've got Smith. No, this is 11 units. Yeah, they're not getting reinforcements. Oh, they've got Thunderers. That's slightly annoying. Only one unit, though. And I think this is their faction leader. Yeah, but they can't get... Yeah, it's, it's 18 units, but it's really only sort of 15 units worth. Yeah, I, th I think we can just take them all. No problem. Let's stand somewhere where we're not taking attrition. Scurry forward! No point! I order scary move. Alright, apparently I can't do that. It looked like there was a space here, but the assassin's kind of taking it up. Well, whatever. This way, way. Didn't get to Arcane Conduit, that's too bad. Clan Scryer. Yeah, I guess we're just sort of hanging out here, expecting the dwarves to come make a joint attack, and should be able to deal with it. 
patchy fur. Not trusted yet. Okay, so rank 10 on my Wallet Master. Do I want to keep going on the magic line or do I want to pick something up first? Yeah, these aren't useful in this campaign. Construction engineer is fine. Brass orb's fine too. Yeah, this is a pretty cool ability. So we'll pick this up eventually. I think I'd rather just get towards magic reserves and I can conduit here though. Um. Yeah. He will live or die, die. Right, and I was just maxing out armor on my bone breaker guys. Yep. Trust him for now now. Should kill when get a chance. Right, and two more points in rat summoning. Very nice. Yeah, untrusted worm. Poison after. Okay. Great. Go squad spear. No me. Must wait. Yeah. We go stalking. <laughs> yep, can auto resolve this again. Take a little damage again, but not too bad. And suck it. Ooh, another kind of command. Awesome. And banner of eternal flame. Okay. And an artifact hunter. Sure. Back into raid stance for making food. Okay. So, we've got to sort out research and then building. Thanks to me, me. Yeah, this growth is useful. Loyalty plus two for new recruits. Yeah, let's go straight for that. I would like to be able to recruit disband knowledgeable lords to just um, get that passive boost to Winds of Magic. I haven't looked at that yet, kind of being short on money, but also because you just have to watch the Grey Seers so, so much. Like, here's a knowledgeable Grey Seer, right? But if I recruit him with one loyalty or two loyalty, then disbanding him right away, which is what I want to do, would actually make him defect. So that plus two loyalty is really big. It basically means that I can hire someone, I can hire and fire someone right away without risking him um, defecting. Yeah. Okay, hero wise, nice. We finished the Pox Cauldron. Let's take a look at our Plague Priests. Sharp Teeth, Warpstone Hoarder. Those aren't useful, particularly. Let's hold out and see what the third option is next turn. And, yeah. Really want Disciplined on my Chieftains, so I can recruit to spam this one. Yeah, don't need to spend any money there. So money here would get towards another chieftain slot. Yep. And yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do with this other building. Possibly just go for the Packmaster. I can see going for the Packmaster plus chieftain recruitment buildings in every minor settlement. It's just it's a little expensive right now. Uh, yeah, just leave this. So, recruit, disband bleed, you. Bleed from okay, we'll sit on the rest of the gold. So that kind of command, that should go to my... Should go to someone... Yeah, I, the Gracie is a good candidate, although I like having the Skalm on him. What did, what did he pick up? He picked up this, which is good against flying units. Okay. Let's have... Let's have this lord grab that banner. Patchy fur, not trusted yet. Oh, plus ten leadership for fighting against dwarves. Yeah, that's good too. So I'm taking it off my master assassin, but he's got high loyalty. That's not gonna be a problem. I guess I just stick crown of command on one of my pack masters. Sure. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, you don't need to move. I guess I should... Hmm. It's hard to predict whether I'm going to want this guy to come north or south after this. I just... yeah, I'll just have him stay where he is. He doesn't really need to move. Okay, so... There's some chance I'll have enough food to take Carrick Zorn at tier 4, but that would stick us into... Yeah, that would stick us into starving, at least temporarily, which isn't great. Oh, do we have Siege Attacker? We do, right? Bonebreaker? Yeah, yeah, okay. Warlock of Blight. Yeah, this should work out well, I think. Yeah, all looking good. Just see... Yeah, kill a thousand enemies, we're gonna get that very soon. Uh, not making much money from raiding, but we'll work towards that. Yep, I've assigned all of this stuff. I guess that probably should be on... Oh, you already have the Artifact Hunter. And so do you. Okay. Yeah, I guess all the Lords probably just end up with Artifact Hunter. Sure. Okay, forgot to move that guy manually, but it doesn't matter. Last Defenders are definitely expanding out west. I guess that's not uncommon. Um... That, yeah, Last Defenders are like the first sort of problem faction because Rite of Primeval Glory, summoning a bunch of dinos, is actually going to be problematic. We're so well set up against armies that are like Skinks or Sauruses. Okay, they didn't bring in their second army at all. Um, yeah, I mean, sure, I'll fight you with, with like, not your whole force, absolutely. Uh, let's do some food math again. I'm making food, let's see, I've got four armies and two settlements, no, three settlements, so that's seven foods, yeah, seven food consumption. I'm making six, I'm making eight just off the passive raiding plus under empire. So... Let's just go for... Let's go for a couple of minutes below here. Yeah, let's go for two minutes below. If nothing else, I can just throw them into the um, Thunderers. Hmm, this choke point could be good. Nice, wins a magic roll. Warlock master! Always wants to put the one chieftain who doesn't have the abilities well, over on that far side, but whatever. That looks good. Get the great seer over here. So yeah, I think we just let them come to us try to, we can engage them with summons and start plaguing when they get to this choke point. 145 range on Thunderers, that's actually not longer than the plague targeting range. Yeah, we've got room to maneuver up here if we need to fall back. Yeah, probably not this way. Alright, you're down 1100 health. Yeah, I don't need to pop that just yet. Yes, I think, I think getting, having the first menace below basically engage their melee units just as they're about to start firing, and then throwing uh, plague so that it hits a bunch of their infantry behind is looking really nice here. Make sure I've got the tanky boys at the front. Oh, you're not in position yet. Okay, you know that's too bad. Should have used this to speed him up. Oh, a bit late now. This still works though. Yeah, this this still works really well. Do need to get. 
yeah, we are going to want to get Crown of Command down ASAP on these clan rats. Okay, so they rush into melee and we get the plague down. Okay, you need to go, you need to get that down. Yeah, okay, there we go, good. Alright, and the rest of us fall back over here. So that was pretty successful. Oh, 200 kills, yeah, that's really nice. Yeah. Yeah, the missile unit's also isolated now. Well, that unit broke, but more than did its job. Yeah, 259 kills in the first plague. Back moving. Back. Yeah, this is a great clump as well. Uh, do we have... no, 70 seconds for the next... I think it should be okay here. Can't, uh, can't do Crown of, Crown of Command, but... If we get the plague down fast enough, it'll still be alright. Let's see, where do I want to put it? Hmm. I'm not sure that was the best place, but it's alright. Ah, shoot. The unit did just break there. Yeah, alright. Yeah, the plague wasn't so good. Okay, 10 seconds or so for the next cast. Could cast a plague on... Now oh, there's enough units here to, to use the plague, sure. General's right there, though. Yeah, maybe this isn't the best opportunity. It's only really hitting that one unit. Around a command. Good. Let's have this one run around the flank. See if I can pull these units around a little bit. I think at this point, especially if this unit runs this way, yeah, we can just we can just face tank their units here. Down. Uh, I was trying to actually stop those units getting into melee, but should be fine. No need to let those dwarves catch us. See if we can kill off their general. Yeah, we've got enough winds of magic here. Let's summon some more reinforcements. Clan 
Yeah, I'm not sure we've done too much damage to that general, but... Oh, here he is. Okay. Oh, he's going down. Don't think the rest of the army is going to take too much more of a beating. Nah, they've had enough. Alright, well, it didn't do as much of a plague as I thought I would need to, but that's all good. Yeah, you keep running them down. You can summon some... Oh, I don't need to kill that unit. Yeah, you get over here. We can summon a bunch more stuff. Yeah, these wolf rat units are, are really good. Coral is 34. Okay, let's try and kill some more of them. That's a whiff. Yeah, it shouldn't be too many of them getting away. How many are there here? 31. Alright, yeah, we can do a bit more damage to that unit. Get his units. Dwarves could have really made this a little tougher for us by bringing in their second army to help, but they did not. Yeah, we're really not letting him get away with much here. The general escaped with low health, that's whatever. Still have rat summons left. Okay. Don't know what these close victories are about. We've really yeah, I mean we didn't lose much balance of power. We didn't use I mean we used abilities, we didn't lose a lot of health. Oh well, what can you do? Many slaves to feed. Talisman to preservation, that's a good one. 17% will save, yep. So we've got the math on food again. You will toil. I think plus two food is not worth it. Yeah, take more money. No no need for this flesh. So the dwarves can run this army back towards Karak Zorn. Yeah, that's what they're doing. I guess they... Yeah, I guess they get out of our range to attack, but those armies are too weak now. We're going to be on them in two turns, and there's nothing they can do. Alright, so Talbot Preservation. Okay, our Winter Assassin's back. Great. That's done. Pipes of Piebald. Around self, affects enemy in range, engaged in melee. Charge speed and charge bonus, alright. Can maybe send this guy up to, um. Up to somewhere like. Well, Aldorf's quite a long way away, but somewhere up that direction. Just have a quick check of who's doing what over here. So this is Strigos Empire, who are at war with Topknots, Rakaf, and Skullcrag. Yeah, they're not going to last very long. Silverhost have gained a territory. Fine with that. But 
Boomer of Orion we haven't seen yet. Nekara rises from the sand. What do you want, creature of Sahmet? Yeah, we probably could get a non-aggression pact if we didn't appear so weak, but... <laughs> Whatever. Grimgul's getting strong. Yeah, it's just about finished off. Karak Azul. Presumably gonna go to war with Karazza Crack pretty soon. Yeah, Karak Norn. Oh, Karak Zorn, sorry. Basically done for. Alright. Definitely a way easier start in terms of the enemies in the area where you, you start right away. Like, definitely this is way easier than the Isabella campaign. So, what do I want to do with this assassin? Um, I could come search the ruins over here. Or I could have him join Queek and partake in sacking Mount Arachnos. Warlock, master oh, hold on. I can just reach Karak Zorn this turn. Wow. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> I have Seer Lord's backing. Yeah, you might have to force much to get within support range, but that's fine. Oh, and the army's outside the settlement. I have no time for this. All right, this is going to be a glorious slaughter. Yes, yes, their doom comes quickly. Yeah, none of these fights are going to be hard. What's that garrison? Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of units that are going to stand on the wall and get wrecked by plague. Yeah, I took a bit of extra attrition damage. Never mind. Uh, sure. Maybe rank up first. <laughs> Too weak to be so one more point here to get to evasion. Yeah, I don't think Death Frenzy is particularly good. We're not fighting any flying units now, but eventually they could be a nuisance. He will live or die, die. Definitely happy with the tankiness of my chieftains, at least for the time being. So Maybe giving a little ward save to our lord, or this Verminous Valor ability. It doesn't do a ton of damage, but it's still an explosion. Ambush defense chance, that's uh, not that useful. Hero action success chance, minus 15% enemy characters. That's really good. I mean, stack that with a few chieftains, and you know, your army's going to be immune, immune to like block army or whatever. I don't need that one. Missile resistance wouldn't be bad to pick up as well. Ah, uh, yeah, lots of good choices. I don't think we need anything over this way. Sure, let's go for Paranoid Defender. <laughs> Knows I dominate. Should kill okay, when you get Foe Seeker. Looks good. So, right, this guy's in reinforcement range, but he's just going to get ambushed. So, if you stand. Yeah, it doesn't matter too much where you stand, I think. Oh, we may not have enough movement to actually get to Carrick Zorn. That would be unfortunate. It's fine, though, unless. Many, many kills today. Yeah, don't think anything's going to be coming from the west and able to reach us. I guess that's my slight concern here. The elves are probably not going to come for us until we actually take character zone, though, so yeah, we, we should be fine. Um, do I want this assassin in the army? Warlock of Skaven Blight. Yeah, it's probably not a bad idea. Let's have him. I can just Targets. join in here. So we make this attack almost certainly going to be an ambush. Yep. Um, can even just auto resolve this, right? Yeah. Ban of Eternal Flame wants to go on one of the chieftains. 
plus 10 leadership for fighting against dwarves. Sure, that can go on the other chieftain. Kill for me, Rat King. What? More, more! Alive! We are gonna hit the food cap here. Yeah, we're gonna hit the food cap here. So, just grab some gold. Leadership and fighting dwarves, great. Yeah, I think I... Okay, that wasn't... Yeah, I didn't actually mean to launch that attack, but it's fine. I think, um... No, I think doing this is good, because if I if I attack this army first, there's some chance I wouldn't quite have enough movement to launch the attack on Karakzorn. Yeah, so this is fine. Um, Kill for clearly want to get my over army up into support range, and also... Let the bell scream, scream. Yeah, we're going to have to force much like I thought. No worries. Grab these level ups too. Patchy fur, not trusted yet. Uh, wonder if this boosts leadership for like summoned wolf rats, or whether they don't count as in the hero's army. I've never, never been a hundred percent on that mechanic. Yeah, we don't need this. This is just for recruiting of units that we're not doing. Um, This comes in at 14. I get to grab some extra health points. Stinks like a grazier. <laughs> Untrusted worm. Poison after. Okay, you can grab. Probably. Scarred Veteran. I think that's what I went on the other chieftains. Should kill yeah. and get a chance. Okay, Arcane Conduit. Perfect seen. timing for a siege, where of course you have as long as you want to just charge magic up and then blast the enemy with it, so that is nice. Things like a grazier. Uh, this assassin, what to do with you? Yeah, looks good. Envoy of Council! Ready to march! Can I hold on? No, I think I, I think I have to force march, even if I kick this assassin out of the army. All right, there we go. Now the other thing is, what do I want to do with ordering more menace below here? Because this will get me more food. Yeah, we're basically going to max out on food here. Let's have you. Stop braxing. Quick, dominant. We go stalking. Let's actually have you go explore the ruins. I think. In many contracts. Good, good. I think it's likely that somebody comes to um, recolonize. So grabbing sort of the free gold from this seems worthwhile. Yeah, sort of anti-heroes is not bad. Okay. They still haven't been recruiting another lord. I think they're kind of sort of stuck in a little loop where they're um, waiting for their main lord or you know faction leader to come back is what it looks like. Okay, rank twelve on. Week. Yep. I'll pick this stuff up eventually. It's just this silly uh, minus one loyalty that I'm avoiding. I challenge kill, kill. Quick fight it all. Yeah, we're, we're slowly taking a little chip damage on these two lords, but I'm watching it and it's not a problem. Find trinkets for Clan Mars. Okay, extra 1500 treasury, really nice. 
successfully carry out any hero action. Okay, well, it includes joining a hero to an army as this, so yeah, we'll get that no problem next turn. We can go back into raiding. Yeah, so... If everything goes well here... Yeah, if everything goes well here, we are going to spend almost all this food getting... I think we'll get characters on to tier 4? Nope. So how much food are we going to get from this? I believe the maximum you can get from a full stack is 20. So let's say I get... I think we're going to get at least 10 food. Yeah, so I can I can go for 2 menace below again, no problem. Yeah. They will die, die! Let's have a look at the settlement. Okay, yeah, pretty standard layout. Hmm, gonna be taking. Eh, uh, this this is this is actually kind of awkward. There's no blind spot for staying away from missile fire. Oh well. Charge bonus. Okay, you can have that. Yep, this looks good. The damage from the towers isn't too bad, but we'll have to just see if there's a part of the wall I can get to. Nice roll. Good. Yeah, we'll have to just see if there's a part of the wall I can get to which doesn't involve us being shot by the missile units. It's kind of a more of a concern. Um, yeah, yeah, it's actually, it's actually one of the better layouts defensively. Like lots of the um, lots of the uh, walled settlements have a blind spot on one or a flank, but this does not. So it does. There is a blind spot right here. Yeah. That, okay. That's probably going to be good enough. Sure. We'll just have to see where they put the missile units. Um, Put some of them here, okay. I think we can get in like this. Well, you definitely need to come over this way. Who's actually getting shot here? Yeah, I don't want you to get shot by the towers. Ah, oh, the assassin too. Well, he can stalk, so that's fine. Warlock Master! Hmm. It's this annoying impassable terrain right up here that means this coral unit may just be able to hit us no matter where we're standing. At least the Thunderers, though, are not going to be in range. Yeah, we'll, we'll take a bit of damage being shot here, but I can deal with it, I think. Actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's not just walk into tower range. Oh, sorry. Crossbow range. Alright, they're moving their corollas now. So, we can just drop down Plague on whatever unit ends up with... Um, yeah, it's going to be on the... it's going to be Thunderous, right? The fact that you can cast Plague on walls is so good. Yeah, they, ne they definitely need to die though, the Slenderers. They are dangerous. Oh, they didn't stand still. Mm, interesting. Alright, so if we stand over here, yeah, none of the other units can hit us. Oh, Gracie are getting shot, right. Move tellers. Me rule one day. Move. Move. Yeah, this is fine though. This is absolutely fine. Yeah, now nothing's shooting us. Great. 
So now it's just a case of kill as many as we possibly can with magic, then we go in and get rid of what's left afterwards. It is a kind of boring and cheesy, but also effective strategy. Maybe we should have paid attention to which units were in the re like in the army outside the settlement. In fact, yeah, let me check on that right now. It's gonna be the unit with experienced chevrons. There are I think two units plus the lord. So none of these ones. This guy is a Fane? Alright, all the missile units are in this settlement. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this unit because they're not at full health. Yeah, this unit of miners, that lord, and... No? What's the other unit? Was it only those two? No, it was three, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to check this, because if I can make sure those units die in this battle, I wipe this faction out. Uh, it, that doesn't really matter though, right? Like, what are they going to do with one or two units left over? Yeah, it doesn't matter. Might get slightly shot doing this, but hitting two units at once is worth it. Bears are great weapons, yeah, they're a great target. Kind of want to get rid of these missile units though, still. Right, they're sticking two dwarf warrior units right on top of each other here. Or well, longbeards, even better. Plenty of magic. Well, at least enough for another few casts. So, Dwarf Warriors here, Miners here, Longbeards, Great Weapons here, kind of a clump of stuff here, let's go for that. Alright, so we probably have two more casts. Don't really care about those Dwarf Warriors, let's hit these Longbeards with great weapons. Since they are dangerous in melee. And last cast. Mm, let's save the last cast for when we actually get into the fortress. So I think I want to just have... No, not everyone. Yeah, having everyone knock down the uh, gate doesn't really make sense. Just send in the chieftains. If it's not down the gate without being shot, that's always good. Yeah, we're not really getting much more magic, so one more plague it is. And, yeah. Going to be able to handle this no problem, I think.
Alright, gate's down. Let's get straight into combat. Should be good. Alright, they went and hit up on the walls. Well, I mean, you can do that, but like, we will just then go for the center of the settlement. Might as well send these summon clan rats into combat with some of the quarrelers on the wall just to use them up doing something productive. Yeah, I think if everyone else runs over this way... Alright, they're bringing some units back down. Yeah, hold on, let's not get too separated out. Let's break this unit. Anyone got stuck behind? No, I think we're good. Okay, so they need to, yeah, we need to focus on killing that guy. Which should be doable right now, I think. Warlock master! Warlock shows me. Okay. Well, their lord's in here somewhere, or their thane, whatever he is, getting wrecked. Let's just get another clan right in here. Oh, don't want Chris here in combat. No, it's only miners, he should be fine, but still. Got kind of command on these ones, and let's start getting some rats involved. Victory's in our grasp. Yep, just swamped their garrison with our swarm of rats. They've got a few missile units shooting at us, can't easily stop them from doing that. Uh, it's a bit of a mess in terms of who's routing here. Some of our stuff, but lots of their stuff. Miners, yeah, we don't care about that. Yeah, we should just focus down that lower, I think. I don't think the wolf rats can go up on the walls. Nah, they can't. Okay. Thane is broken or dead, I think. Oh, the thing. Yeah. Good opportunity to finish off these thunderers. Alright. Not seeing much left to resist here. Maybe focus on this unit. Okay, now it's just the quarrelers up on the wall. Uh, we can get up on the wall with some of our guys, though. Sure. You're taking a little bit of damage. Yeah, let's have you and the Bone Breakers. Ah, they've had enough. Okay, no worries. Long are great weapons. That's in the garrison. That's getting wiped out. Uh, Coral is getting wiped out. Yes, yeah, this guy we, this guy we would have wanted to kill to stop that. Uh, yeah, stop them escaping with any units. No, it's fine. Don't think there's anything left to do here. Yep, did a little healing I could. Rory victory, alright.
So I believe he's going to be... It's just going to be this Rune Lord who's left alive in their faction. Um, honestly, him staying alive and then attacking us for yet another decisive victory, for kind of free, like, that works well. So, if anything better, I didn't kill him. And we... Oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. Yeah, he's just he's just done. Which means they're just done. Alright, and I hit the food cap. Yeah, so... Jod's stole that pretty well here. New warp is okay, here. yeah, that's right. So it's 120 food to occupy at tier 5. So we'll occupy at tier 4. Now this does put us into a shortage, which isn't ideal, but the penalties for the shortage are nowhere near as bad as the penalties for starving. And we'll gain enough food in the next one or two turns to hopefully get out of this. So yeah, tier 4 it is. I could sack for extra gold, but I, I wouldn't be able to sack and occupy in the same turn, so let's just prioritize this one. Okay, so Doran is dead, and Karak Zorn are wiped out. Excellent. Yeah, bunch of beer collectors. Don't really need them anymore, but never mind. Alright, and I picked up a tier 2 barracks, which immediately means I can recruit an extra chieftain. We've got 12k gold and a tier 4 settlement. So that went really well. I think that's a great place to stop things. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll be back for the next one.